guys so welcome back again to my channel at this time we are still in the series of our topic the ten commandments so our title for today is all about honor your parents ayan kung sino yung may mga magulang dyan ayan honor your parents the verse can be found in exodus 20 verse 12 Depending, ayan, honor your parents, sabi niya. So, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord, your God, is giving you. Ayan. So, honor your parents. Ayan. So, depending on what kind of parents you have, you'll find this fifth commandment. Easy or difficult to follow. Honoring your parents means treating them with respect, whether or not they've earned it. That, that's not exactly the way we do things these days. Is it? You've heard the, the saying, if you want respect, you have to earn it. Yan. Yet, God offers no exemption close here. He simply says to honor your parents. If your parents are loving, kind, and fair, you'll want to return their consideration. If they are called critical, even abusive, you are to honor them nonetheless. Does that mean you agree with the way they do thing, things? Of course not. Does it mean you respect the way they live? No. It means you honor them because God loves them. Showing respect to them is an act of obedience to God rather than an act of submission to Him, to them. You are treating them as Christ would. Christ would them. Ayan. If you no longer have contract with your parents, or if they have died, this means treating their reputation or their memory with integrity by speaking about them respectfully. God understood that this is asking a lot in some cases. Ayan. In some cases, yeah. So perhaps that's why he attached a promise to this command. It's not always easy, but doing the right thing comes with its own rewards, including a heart free from guilt, anger, and bitterness. For both the parents and the children benefit when a son or daughter shows honor, no matter what. Ayan, galing guys, no? So, honor your parents. So, to honor your parents is like you are honoring God because God created them. You believe that? That God created our parents? It is because he loves them too. He loves our parents. That's why we need to love our parents too. Ayan, na-miss ko na tuloy yung ako na ako naman talaga. Pang ilang araw na ba ngayon? Tagal na, di ba? Tagal na. Atok pa ako. Um, Yun lang guys, usap-usap lang tayo dito habang kayo ay nag ano diyan, nag shout out, shout out. Ayun. Mga lodi. So, yun, about honor your parents. Ayun. Diyan di ba? So, medyo mababa din siya pa. Ayun, honor your parents. Yun. Yun nga. Honor your parents. Naantok na ako guys, pero kaya pa to. 
antok tayo next is murder ah. so eh, kasama pa rin ito guys sa uh, the ten commandments about murder you shall not murder exodus chapter 20 verse 13 god is clear about the evil of murder the Bible says that we do not have the right to take revenge. Deuteronomy 32.35 Hebrews 10.30 Before you conclude that surely this is one commandment you'll never break, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at it. In his sermon on the mount, Jesus shed light on the law that the Jews had worked long and hard to keep to the letter. Imagine what went through the minds of the pious Pharisees when Jesus said, Anyone who harbored anger in his heart toward another was guilty of murder. Ayan. He was guilty of murder. Magkikita yung ano. Kailangan ko na ng reader. Nawawala. Oh, no, na, please. Ayan, murder. Oh, sana ba yun? That means that they as well as it's one of us would be guilty. At the root of every murder, there is anger. Whether it is anger at oneself, or at the victim. Few people reach a point so desperate that they actually take a life. But Jesus tells us to deal with anger at the very outset, long before it reaches such a point. The saddest thing about murder is its penalty. No matter how re repentant the killer, there's no bringing the victim back. How many suicides happen because the person, though there was no hope, thought that there was no hope? Maybe the next day everything would have changed, but now it's too late. Rather than skimming over this commandment in the assumption that it doesn't apply, give it some serious thoughts. Are you holding on to anger against someone? Galit ka ba? Against someone? Against yourself? Ayan. God wants to remove it so you, your heart is free. To enjoy the life he wants you to have. Ayan, thank you naman. Thank you, thank you naman, no? It's all about murder. Ayan, di ba? Naba, na, narinig yun. yun. No? Murder pala eh. It's another, di ba? Another Ten Commandments. Part of the Ten Commandments. Now, let's proceed to sexual purity. Ayan. Uh, hindi ko na alam anong day yan basta sexual parity you shall not commit adultery yan Exodus chapter 20 verse 14 sex is usually associated with pleasure not pain God created sex yes God created sex so, he designed it to be a good thing, but why are there so many painful side effects of this God-given pleasure? When we abuse our privileges, we are inviting disaster. That is the problem with the popular view of sex. Most people don't see the big picture. In today's culture, we are told that sex is for the moment that there are no after effects, after effects 
and there need no strings attached. The important thing is that the two people involved are both willing partners. Ayan. So adultery. Having an intimate relationship with someone other than your marriage partner, that's adultery, is much more than a physical act. It is betraying the trust and commitment that is the foundation of the marriage. Entering a sexual relationship with anyone outside of marriage leads only to heart, heartaches. There is a huge cost involved. One that is not always clear until it is too late. Adultery hurts everyone involved. The in the act six was this man. <laughs> Nawala na tayo. <laughs> Katulog yata ako. Sana ba tayo? Yan guys, no? Oh, grabe guys. Nakatulog tayo. There is a huge cost involved. One that is not always clear until it's too late. Adultery hurts everyone involved. The circle of pain extends much larger than the two people involved in that the act. Sex was meant to bring union, but adultery, adultery destroys trust and leaves division. Sex was designed to bring joy. Adultery causes intense sorrow. Proverbs 7.23 warns that adultery can cost you your life. Yeah. The scars that adultery leaves remain until the grave. The Ten Commandments are hard, but Jesus was even harder when it comes to adultery. In fact, he declared that desiring in your heart someone who is married or someone other than your own spouse is adultery whether or not you actually get physically involved. We have been warned. God has made it abundantly clear that using sex in ways God did not intend invites disastrous consequences. Now is the time to heed the warning and decide to remain sexually pure. Yeah, so the rewards for keeping sex within marriage are worth the effort. It's worth the effort pala guys. So, ayun, nakatatlong topic tayo. No? Honor your parents. Murder. Uh, it's, what is, let's talk about murder and sexual purity. Ayan, di ba? So, yun guys. No? Sexual purity. So, dito na tayo. Inisa ko na lang yung tatlo para kasi naman sa time natin no time so mayroon tayong time limit kasi before 15 minutes ayan dapat tapos na para ano kasi yan by schedule ayan so 15 minutes lang kaya ang kaya di ba ayan so ano pa ba ayan so hindi ko na alam kung ano gagawin Ah, uh, no. Uh, na ako, guys. No, 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 don't forget to hit the like and share the video, this video and ano pa? click subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa next video natin. Have a blessed day.